us more than we can deliver and we always give the customer more than they expect because at madison tire and auto repair llc our philosophy is the customer is number one please call us for a quarter service question at 973-377-1915 a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz from Mercedes-Benz of Paramus is a lot like a new Mercedes-Benz. It's irresistible in every way, including the price. We have over 200 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Plus, every certified pre-owned comes with factory-backed warranties and coverage to keep your vehicle operating at its best. You expect nothing less from Mercedes-Benz, so expect nothing less from a Mercedes-Benz dealership. When choosing a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz, choose Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. George J. Keller and Sons want your house to be the, the kind of home for all to see. Best roofing, windows, siding too. Great solar and gutters, we're here for you. Our seasoned pros are unsurpassed, so give a call, we'll take your task. Transform your home, that's what we do. So give a call, we're here for you. For roofing, siding, windows and solar, we do it all for you. George J. Keller and Sons. Your family-owned operation since 1980. Call for your free estimate. Oh, hey, Jason, what's up? Hi, Mr. Boone. We just finished servicing your vehicle. Nice. We replaced your windshield wipers, changed your cabin air filter, and topped off your windshield wiper fluid. Wow, thanks, Jason. Is there anything you guys can't do? When it comes to regular maintenance, we can do almost everything right in your driveway. Whether you're at home or at the office, Mercedes-Benz of Paramus Mobile Service will give your vehicle the care it needs without interrupting your day, no matter the make or model. Call or visit MercedesBenzParamus.com to schedule your appointment today. If you've ever been around bad leadership, you know it right away. Find out what it takes to be a great leader in the book, Don't Wait, Lead Now by Jim Lord. Filled with real world experiences and lessons that you can easily apply to your own situation, Don't Wait, Lead Now will help you become a more effective leader, whether in business, family, or life in general. Start your leadership journey and reach your full potential. Learn more and order at don'twaitleadnow.com. That's don'twaitleadnow.com. Thank you for calling Mercedes-Benz of Paramus Mobile Service. This is Amanda speaking. How may I help you? Turn your living room into a waiting room with Mercedes-Benz of Paramus Mobile Service. The same quality and care you'd expect right at your home or office. Shop for tires from all the major brands on our online store. Have them installed by a factory trained technician when and where it's convenient for you. Mercedes-Benz of Paramus has you covered. Book your mobile service appointment today. Call or go online at MercedesBenzParamus.com. You're there for them. We're here for you. Get back the life you love. Few dealerships stand out like Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. From the inside to the outside, we have it all. A top-of-the-line showroom and lounge, the finest luxury cars, SUVs, and certified pre-owned too. A used car center, all makes and models in a wide range of prices. Choose between our on-site service center or we'll come to you. Here our sales team makes your complete satisfaction their number one goal. Stand out in a vehicle from Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. Our goal at Reiner Pump Systems has been to provide customers with the best quality pumps and packaged pump systems that have solved their water and wastewater problems. We have been successful at satisfying our customers through honesty, hard work, engineering, fair prices, and outstanding customer service. Our greatest asset are the people dedicated to make Reiner Pump Systems a leader in the water and wastewater marketplace. Reiner Pump Systems started in 1998 as a family-owned business and has grown into one of the most respected pump sales force in the Northeast and now Pacific Northwest. Our success has been nothing short of amazing. We are now considered by most the go-to pump house for replacement pumps, big and small. Reiner Pump Systems. Hey, don't you just love it when more assistant sports broadcast your game? Or do you prefer a silent motion-detecting camera just 
following the movement on the court. Let's face it, the only real way to watch your favorite team is through Morris Sussex Sports award-winning service that it's brings you play-by-play -play -play commentary, right live instant replays, cool cinematic graphics, real-time scoreboard, fun fan engagement, and much, much more. Plus, all of our broadcasts are free to watch. Grandparents can easily pull it up on their smart TVs, and alumni can watch from all over the world. So if you want to reserve us, have your games broadcasted the Morris Sussex Sports way, then just reach out to me, George Muha, at george at morrisessexsports.com, or call or text me at 973-713-5944. I've worked with many mortgage companies over the years, from the big banks where I thought I could get the best, most competitive rate, to the small guys where I thought I'd get more personalized service. And I never thought I could have it both, until I met Family First. Family First gave me the most competitive rates in the market with unmatched service. Their team is incredible. They were always at arm's reach, ready to answer my questions, help me weigh different loan options, and work through some of the most challenging closing situations and timelines. I have to say without a doubt, Family First is the best in the business and I strongly recommend them if you're looking to finance or refinance your home. Have you ever needed a day to relax during these stressful times? Well then look no further than modern acupuncture. Modern acupuncture will ensure your time there will not only be relaxing, but make you feel rejuvenated. Not only will your stay be comfortable, but safe as well. All staff at Modern Acupuncture practice safe social distancing guidelines and keep all equipment and room sanitized after each visit. Modern Acupuncture, making lives better. Rich Latman. Realtor with Keelan Latman, Sotheby's International Realty, enjoys helping clients through the process of selling their home and finding their dream home. Whether you need more space, are a first time home buyer, or ready to downsize, Rich can help. Rich is a National Association of Realtors Circle of Excellence Award winner and one of the top producers in his area. With Rich, you can always expect expert analysis excellent service, and exceptional results. For all real estate in Morris and Somerset counties, contact Rich Latman at 908-839-8487 or by email at rlatman at klsir.com. Semino and Philippone is a New Jersey-based law firm with offices in Morristown and Hazlitt, devoted to providing quality legal representation and personal attention in the areas of residential and commercial real estate, estate planning, and personal injury. Contact Joe Philippone at 732-203-0060 or by email at jphilippone at cf-lawfirm.com. We head to the Morris County Wrestling Tournament at Mount Olive High School as the number one seed Connor Martin from Del Barton took on undefeated Dylan Pasture from Jefferson in the 285 pound final. Pasture did a great job taking Martin to the mat and after a hard fought effort was able to pin the number one seed in just 24 seconds. With the win, Pasture improves his record to an impressive 17 and 0 and takes home the title in the 285 pound division. Chris Kittatini's Michaela Caruso as the Cougars hosted a pack on Caruso had a career night with 17 points, 10 rebounds, and 13 blocks. That's almost unheard of. For the season, Michaela averages around four blocks a game as the Cougars continue their winning ways.
No stranger to the wrap up report, here's Mo Beard's Hollis Humphreys with a two goal performance against Seton Hall Prep. That would be Hollis's 20th and 21st goal of the season as he's had a great year. But the Crimson would fall short to the Pirates, 4 to 3. The wrap up report's weekly superstar shots is brought to you by Sussex County Community College is committed to helping you achieve your educational goals. Applications are accepted year round with no specific deadline. Apply today to enroll in one of their quality programs and check out their athletic department by visiting sussex.edu or sussexskylanders.com. If you want to catch even more highlights from more Sussex Sports broadcasts, tune into the Wrap Up Report as we feature top plays and athletes as well as upcoming previews of the teams you want to watch out for that weekend. You can check us out on Thursdays at 6 p.m. right here on Morris Sussex Sports. Whether you are a trucker or a landscaper, accountant or carpenter, needing workers' compensation, general liability, or commercial auto insurance, Gladstone Coverage Group has you covered. Gladstone Coverage Group is a one-stop agency specializing in many types of insurance, including life, personal, business, and Medicare supplement insurance, as well as employee benefits, serving many communities throughout New Jersey. As an insurance partner protecting you and future generations, contact Tyler Brinson at 908-698-0477 or by email at tylerb at gladstonecoverage.com and tell him Morris Sussex Sports sent you. If you're not getting the most comfort out of your system, check this out. Like the rest of your neighbors, you want your home to be as comfortable and inviting as possible. It's no surprise with the winter storms around here. The demand for system repairs are way up, which means waiting around for a while for a technician to show up and having to be stuck feeling uncomfortable for a long time, which is why at ICS, we make sure to service your home quickly and efficiently so you can get back to feeling warm and comfortable again. So if you don't want to spend your winter freezing your butt off, visit our website, icshvac.com. Chairman's Elite Club Loan Officer Mitch Vandalinda of Loan Depot is your go-to person for home loans, whether it's a new home mortgage or a refinance of your current home, and she specializes in renovations for those who want to add on and fix up. Because of her extensive knowledge of loan programs, problem-solving skills, and steadfast commitment to customer service, Midge ensures that each borrower receives superior guidance as they pursue one of the most personal investments of their lifetime. Reach out to her today at 973-202-09. Behind the goal, we reset, and TJ Santeda has it for the Vikings. Santeda... Brings it right past two defenders. Look at the speed in the open ice. Santeda, great stick handling, great shot. Here's Carlotti, oh! in the end zone, it is caught. Charge, look for the pass, here's a shot, right in front, score. And that is a base hit, the run will score. And Freshman, full check, gets the strike. Anthony Grosso is going to make sure that the Wolfpack fans go home happy. Grosso for three, he got it. <laughs> Welcome to Landy Park here in Roxbury, New Jersey as Morris Sussex Sports presents the Morris County Softball Championship game featuring the top seeded Montville Mustangs who come in a record of 19, excuse me, 19 and 1, 8 0 in the National Division as they'll take on runner ups from this tournament last year, the Roxbury Gales who come in a record of 19 and 2, 19, excuse me, 9 and 1 in the NJAC American Division. Good evening, everyone. A nice warm evening here in Landing. Our first warm evening of the spring, but we're going to have some hot softball tonight. I'll tell you that much, folks. Hey, uh, thanks for joining us. I'm Dan Cleary. Before we get underway today, we want to thank our special sponsor, Prospects Baseball Softball Academy in Randolph, New Jersey. Their goal is to provide the necessary tools and knowledge so that our players can achieve their potential and succeed at the highest possible level. 
We use a civil approach to make sure that our players can grasp what we are trying to teach them. Go to prospectbaseballacademy.com. They're also offering huge discounts for lessons and training that ends on May 25th. Get a 10-pack of lessons for $400 for members or $435 for non-members. Again, go to prospectbaseballacademy.com. Hey, it's Prospect Baseball Academy and Randolph also offering a huge discount in training with 12 60-minute weight training for $375 or a combo pack of 10 baseball slash softball lessons and 12 lifting lessons for $750. You know the address, prospectbaseballacademy.com. Also, when you're thinking of buying or newing, buying or leasing that new car that you want to go to, it's Mercedes, excuse me, Mercedes-Benz, Mercedes-Benz dealership and premise. We have an extensive collection of new and pre-owned Mercedes-Benz models on our lot for you to choose from. We're under new ownership, but our expert Mercedes-Benz finance and service and parts teams are just, just as committed as ever to providing you the best experience possible. Come to Mercedes-Benz of Paramus or visit us at MercedesBenzParamus.com. And finally, a longtime sponsor of Morris Sussex Sports, J, George J. Keller & Sons, established in 1980. George J. Keller & Sons, LLC in Northern New Jersey's premier home improvements contractor, specializing in roofs, siding, windows, and solar. We've been installing roofs and instilling trust since 1980. Let us show how you can use our years of experience so you can benefit your next project. Go to their website, jjkeller.com. So we want to thank all their sponsors for getting this game on. It should be a great one. It'll be a history-making night tonight as Roxbury lost in this game last year, a heartbreaker to Morris Catholic on a walk-off single by Kate Heslin as they're looking to get their first title. They've been in the championship game last year. Uh, they were also in the championship game in 97 and 91. They've lost those games, unfortunately, for the Gales. Montville hasn't been in this game since 2013. Coach John Immediato has done a great job with this program, so they'll be looking for their first title. Paul Catelli's done a great job since taking over for Diane Nogle Douglas, who, uh, interesting fun fact tonight, was an All-American, All-Area, All-State, All-Everything athlete at Montville High School. And then Coach Roxbury for years saw Diane before and said, who are you rooting for? She just laughed. <laughs> So I think she's pulled for Roxbury because she's still in town. But, folks, before we get really into this game, we have some player intros. And we're going to start off with the Montville Mustangs. Courtney Pisa, senior, second base. Grace Kowalski, junior, shortstop. Lily Kowalski, freshman, third base. Daniela Vigio, freshman, second base. Freshman first baseman. Serena Dang, junior right field. Lila Monti, junior left field. Jackson, Jackson Hill, sophomore center field. Lexi Gomes, sophomore outfield. Hasman Sweeney, freshman outfield. Hadley White, sophomore outfielder. Caitlin Walensky, junior pitcher. That was the Montfield Mustangs. Let's meet the Roxbury Gales. Go. Cameron Faisal, senior, second base. <laughs> Kelly Raquel, sophomore pitcher. Kendall Faisal, junior, catcher. Maddie Spenningson, senior, right field. Leah Milsom, senior, center field. Jane Panella, senior, first base. Natalie Otto, senior, third base. Ryan Mullen, freshman, shortstop. Mariah Remus, junior, left field. Grace Mastelli, freshman, third baseman. Lexi Lynch, sophomore left field. Taylor Murphy, sophomore outfield. Josephine Carroll, 11th outfield. Nicole Fry, senior outfield. Angelina Mochella, sophomore outfield. Angelique Glossian, junior shortstop. And we're back here at Landing Park. A nice little feature we've added to our broadcast here at Morris Sussex Sports. Prior to the start of this game, they're going to announce the lineup, but they're going to have a nice ceremony over honoring former uh, Dover softball coach Rob Ambrosino. Rob is an old buddy of mine. I played football against him back in the day. He was a coach at Sparta. He was a head football coach. Got him to a state final and lost an overtime to a pack on. Then he uh, switched gears, went down to Dover. He was beloved down there at Dover, and he uh, was taken away to, from us way too early back in September. He tragically passed away suddenly. Uh, leaving him his uh, beautiful family. So they're going to do an honor to Rob tonight. And again, anyone that knew Rob knew what a great guy Rob was. Um, so it's, it's nice that they're going to honor him tonight. I remember I saw him oh, back in uh, August. He was excited about softball and football coming up. He was assistant coach at Dover for football. Uh, just a good guy. Is a, if you knew Rob, you knew he had a smile that would light up a room and a great personality. 
He is sorely missed. So after the starting lineups, as we're hearing the PA announcer do that, he'll honor Rob. I'm going to bring my partner tonight, uh, former Montville baseball coach, Ian Schwindel. Ian, you know a lot about these Montville girls. We were joking before the game. If they play well, you're going to take credit because you taught them in PE. Absolutely. <laughs> elementary school, Hilldale Elementary School, uh, a lot of those skills you're going to see here tonight for sure. Now, you've known Coach John and maybe Otto for a long time. Talk about what John brings as a coach. You, you said he was a mentor to you. Absolutely. Johnny Montville, he was my mentor as a phys ed teacher when I first broke in. Uh, we coached football together, and he's just got a great passion uh, for the game of softball and for and for the town of Montville and for these girls. And uh, he's been super excited every single day uh, about this season. John, in 1993, graduated of Montville, played football at Montclair. was an outstanding lineman there. And is on that staff, was on that staff with you, with head coach Rick DeBonte on the football with the Mustangs. Yes, absolutely. So this uh, Montville team, the top seed, it starts in the circle tonight for both of these teams. They're unbelievable pitchers for Montville. Caitlin Olenski, she's already been committed to uh, go to uh, Nebraska. Her numbers this year are just insane pitching-wise. 105 innings, 39 hits, 15 runs, 8 earned. 21 walks, 221 strikeouts, nine hit by pitchers, hit by pitch, and a 0.53 ERA. Coach, you got to respect that. That's a healthy amount of strikeouts right there, Dan. Yes, it is. <laughs> and they can also swing the bat, these guys. Um, you know, we'll give you their starting lineup. Leading off will be shortstop Grace Kowalski, a great athlete. She's terrific in basketball. And uh, also, it, she'll be at shortstop. Catcher Gabby Donkos, number nine. Number 22 will be Kaylin Olenski, batting third, batting fourth. Freshman Daniela Biggio had a big hit the other day in their state tournament win as uh, her and Kaylin had back-to-back -back doubles to knock off Pascag Valley. Uh, then it's right fielder, number 28, Serena Dang. Number eight, first baseman, Laura Cadeco. Number 12, center fielder, Jackie Sinella. Number five, left fielder, Lila Monte. And number 42, third baseman, Julia Kobelarsik. 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 Yeah, I'm glad oh, we yeah. got a Montville guy here tonight. <laughs> Kobelarsik, you were waiting for me to mess yeah, that up. <laughs> everybody does. It's all good. So that's that starting lineup. But they're going to be going against a team that might be the third seed because they had uh, one loss going into the seeding meeting. Montville was undefeated. They beat Montville 3 nothing after the seeding meeting. And uh, Haley Ericello was amazing in that game. She gave up one hit. She had 15 Ks. The only hit in that game, Grace Kowalski got it. Alinsky was just as good. She had seven innings pitched, seven hits, three runs, two earned, 15 Ks. But this uh, Roxbury team, they had a loss to uh, Pope John early in the season. They had their other losses to South Brunswick. They avenged that Pope John loss. So they're looking to get their first county championship tonight, as is Montville. We're going to listen to the national anthem. Thank you. Are we all please rise. <laughs> This evening, on behalf of the Morris County Athletic Directors Association and the Morris County Coaches Association, we would like to take the opportunity to pay tribute and recognize former Dover High School softball coach Rob Ambrosino. Rob unexpectedly passed away this past September, and as you can imagine, this left the Dover and Sparta School District communities, along with Morris County Softball Community Devastator. Rob spent his career teaching and coaching in the Sparta School District, and most recently, the last 12 years, as a district teacher and head softball coach at Dover. He led the Dover Tigers to a conference championship in 2019. In addition, Rob is also a dedicated coach that has assisted with the operations of the Long County Softball Tournament over the past 10 years. It is important to share that upon his passing, Rob was able to successfully donate his organs to four different individuals which has allowed them to move forward and live healthy lives. It is our great honor now to present the Morris County Softball Tournament Honorary Award this evening to Coach Rob Ambrosino. In attendance this evening to accept this award is Rob's father, Jerry, and also his daughter, Lauren. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Now, please remain standing as Emma and Ava Milson from Rockstar High School sing our national anthem.
job on the national anthem by the Milton family. Also, uh, a great tribute to Rob Abrazino, an old buddy of mine, and a great contributor to Morris County Sports. And was a big part of this tournament, was on the tournament committee. His dad, Jerry, here, and his daughter. It's a nice little tribute to them. So, Absolutely. let's break down this game. It's, we, we talked about Monville. We're talking about Roxbury. Haley Ericello has been amazing in the circle. We said two Division One caliber pitchers going at it. Caitlin, Caitlin from Monville is only a junior, and Haley's a sophomore. Wow. So they, they're, and they might see each other in the state tournament. Is uh, they're both in the semifinals on the other side of the bracket, North One Group Three. A lot of duels ahead. Absolutely, Ericello. 97 innings pitched, 33 hits, four runs, four earned, 15 walks, 179 Ks, two hit batters, and ERA of 0 0.29. Wow. Coach, we joked for the game. First to one might win. Yes, I've heard that a couple times tonight. Absolutely. So, but this team can hit. And uh, leader of batter came, uh, Rita Faisal. She is two hits away from 100 for her career. So, something to keep an eye out for them. But they can hit the ball as well. But again, it's, it's going to be all about the pitching tonight and defense. And we'll give you the Montville defense because they'll take the field first as the home team. We talked about Caitlin Olenski in the circle. Junior Gabby Donkos is a junior catcher. First base, uh, Laura Kadekel, freshman. Second base, Danielle Biggio, the freshman. And let's, a lot of youngsters here for Montville. Shortstop Grace, not one senior in the starting lineup. Shortstop Grace Kowalski is a junior. Third base, Julie. Kobalarsic. Kobalarsic. She's at third, another freshman, left fielder, Lila Monte, your junior, center fielder, Jackie Sinella, a sophomore, and right fielder, Serena Dang. She's a junior. Here we go. So uh, she'll be facing a uh, Roxbury lineup. Cam, Rita, F Faisal. In their last meeting, Faisal was one for four against Olenski. On the season, Faisal, as we said, two more hits to get 100. She is 31 for 74 with eight RBIs, 25 runs scored. Hitting 419 with a 527 batting average. She'll be followed by Haley Eric <coughs> Eric Cello. Uh, not only a great pitcher, she was over three in the game against uh, Monville first time around. But Haley can swing the bat 24 of 63, 23 runs scored, 11 ribbies, seven doubles, a dinger, nine walks, two hit by batters, 10 stolen bases. And when she gets on, she's going to run. No courtesy runner for her. Hitting 381 with a 540 uh, slugging percentage and batting third will be her sister, Kendall Rita Faisal. She's the catcher tonight. She was two for three with a run scored against Monville in the three nothing vic victory. And uh, Kendall, the senior, the, the, excuse me, the senior, the season, the junior, 31 of 68, 16 runs scored, 18 RBIs. She's got four doubles, two triples, and she has uh, two home runs, seven stolen bases, hitting 456 with 618 slugging percentage. Some numbers right there. Definitely some numbers there. Right, Coach. So we're about ready to get underway. And we'll tell you how everyone got here. Montville got here by beating number 16, Kinelon, 3-0. Alinsky had a no-hitter. They beat number 8, Madison, 9-1. Only gave up no runs in that. He earned runs in that. that was scored on an error. And then they beat West Morris in the semis in number 4 seed, 10-3. Alinsky had 13 Ks, allowed four hits. The team spread it out with 12 hits total. They scored six runs in the first and never looked back. Roxbury, they got here. They beat Morris Tech, the 14th seed, 2-0. They beat the 6th seed, Morris Knowles, 12-0. And Morris Catholic, the defending champs, they got the revenge after last, last year on Kayvon's walk-off hit. 1-0 in the semifinal. Let's play some ball. Here we go. So we're ready to get underway. So Cam, the leadoff batter, trying to get things going for Roxbury. Be interesting to see the philosophy of both coaches start this game. Maybe a little small ball. You just gotta. When you're going against such good pitchers, you have to try to manufacture a run any way you can. That'd be low. Well, let's get ready to deal. In there for a strike. 
two, two. Let's see what they go with here. Let's get ready to deal. Slaps it a little bit. Foul stays alive. Good job there. Ooh. Coach, when you're going against such good pitchers, I guess there's two theories. You go after them right away, or you try to wait them out on the count. What do you What are your thoughts you wanna, on that? You want to you go after them right away, see what they got, but if they start losing the zone, then you start to work the pitch counts up. Obviously, in softball, a little bit different. Popped up. Will it stay coming fair? Coming this way, sir. Coming right at us, oh. and that'll be foul right on the side. So good job by... Rita, Rita Fessel. But it's all about shortening, up, shortening up, putting something in play here. I'm trying to make something happen with two strikes. There it is. And there it is, strike three. So unless he gets the first K of the game, the old backwards K for the first down, and that'll bring up Haley Arancello. We gave Haley's numbers before, very impressive numbers for the sophomore. Last year, Roxbury lost in this game, but they battled back in the state tournament, won a section title, and both teams still alive. They do that a lot in Roxbury. <laughs> Outstanding programs. Absolutely. Paul Catelli taking over for Diane Nogle. Douglas, as we mentioned, was an outstanding player at Monville, three-sport star. Was an All-American at William Patterson. Big swing and a miss. Okay, starting to find the zone here. It's settling in after that first batter. It was a good battle by Rita Fessel, but eventually Oleski won that. Right. That was impressive. <laughs> good morning, like good afternoon, good night. It looks like she's got him guessing a little bit. We'll bring up Kendall Rita Fessel. Two outs here, see the outfield is moving back a little bit. You don't want anything over your head. Keep everything in front. No easy doubles. Kendall, 31 of 68 with 16 runs scored, 18 RBIs, three doubles, a triple, two dingers, nine walks, seven stolen bases hitting 456, but a 618 slugging percentage. Mm. Looks like the low strikes out of play so far. It's a couple low ones look borderline. Hey, and again, the guy that's going to be so important that's not playing tonight is the guy working the dish. Always. you got to really learn about the umpire zone and use that to your advantage as a hitter and a pitcher. The two outs here in the top of the first. Top seed in Monville, third seed in Roxburgh. They knocked out defending champion number two seed, Morris Catholic, last week. And one strike away from striking out the side is Olenski, the Nebraska commit. Big cut there. Let's give you a low. Shouldn't be many surprises here coming up. Nah. Old number one coming. Yes, indeed. Let's see deals. Popped up. Slicing. He goes out to right field. That's going to drop in. That's a fair ball. And she's going to get herself a two-strike, two-out double. Now Roxbury has a runner in scoring position. Just served it in the right spot, Coach. Always tough. That, that ball is always going to slice away from uh, the hitter's side. And it looks like we just took a little bit of a misstep there. So I'll bring up Maddie Spengenson. She was two for three with a run score, so she had a good game against Olenski. Bengenson, 24 of 58, 16 run scored, 27 RBIs. And she's going to sky one to left field. will be right by us, and it'll go foul. You're getting a lot of action over here tonight. I know, should have brought my glove. <laughs> Spengenson hitting 414 with a 948 slugging percentage. Three triples and eight home runs. And this uh, ballpark is a hitter's ballpark. Mm. Gets past the catcher, runner will move to third. So with two outs, Roxbury has a runner in scoring position. Actually, at third base, was in scoring position at second. So an early chance here for the Gales to strike first here in the Morris County Championship game. Big swing. 
situation like this, after a tough play like that, where the pitcher's got to take over and, and buckle down and take ownership of this thing. Well, let's get deals. Gets the strikeout. She strikes out the side and strands the runner in third base. So we have a half an inning of play here in the Morris County Championship game. We have no score. We'll head to the bottom of the first. Montville will be up. And we'll be back with that bottom of the first right after this, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. At Madison Tire and Auto Repair, LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. We offer a variety of products and automotive services to enhance your vehicle's performance. Our mission is simple. We never promise more than we can deliver, and we always give the customer more than they expect. Because at Madison Tire and Auto Repair, LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. Please call us for a quote or service question at 973-377-1915. A certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz from Mercedes-Benz of Paramus is a lot like a new Mercedes-Benz. It's irresistible in every way, including the price. We have over 200 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Plus, every certified pre-owned comes with factory-backed warranties and coverage to keep your vehicle operating at its best. You expect nothing less from Mercedes-Benz, so expect nothing less from a Mercedes-Benz dealership. When choosing a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz, choose Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. George J. Keller and Sons want your house to be the, the kind of home for all to see. Best roofing, windows, siding too. Great solar and gutters, we're here for you. Our seasoned pros are unsurpassed, so give a call, we'll take your task. Transform your home, that's what we do. So give a call, we're here for you. For roofing, siding, windows and solar, we do it all for you. George J. Keller and Sons. Your family-owned operation since 1980. Call for your free estimate. Hey, Jason, what's up? Hi, Mr. Boone. We just finished servicing your vehicle. Nice. We replaced your windshield wipers, changed your cabin air filter, and topped off your windshield wiper fluid. Wow, thanks, Jason. Is there anything you guys can't do? When it comes to regular maintenance, we can do almost everything right in your driveway. Whether you're at home or at the office, Mercedes-Benz of Paramus Mobile Service will give your vehicle the care it needs without interrupting your day, no matter the make or model. Call or visit MercedesBenzParamus.com to schedule your appointment today. And we're back here in Landy Park in Roxbury. Bottom of the first Morris County Championship game. No score. Kaylin Oleski from Monfo struck out the side. Worked around a double and a wild pitch. Stranded a runner third. And leading off for Monfo will be Kowalski. Grace Kowalski, terrific athlete. We've talked about her on the season. She went after that first one. As Eric Zeller deals a pie. Kowalski, 31 of 65, 26 runs, 21 RBIs, eight doubles, a triple, four home runs. And she's hitting 477 with a slugging of 815. We'll give you the Roxbury defense. Excuse me, uh, that's the Roxbury defense. Is Eric Zillo ready to deal? Big swing and miss. Bring in the heat, Coach. Yes, a lot of high outside stuff. So, Roxbury defense, Kendall Rita Faisal behind the plate. First base, Jaden Pinella. Second base, Cam Rita Faisal. Shortstop, Ryan Mullen. Third base, Natalie Otto. Left field, Maria Remus. Center field, Leah Milsom. And right field, Maddie Svengensen. And we gave Eric Chiel his numbers earlier. 97 innings pitch, 33 hits, four runs allowed, four earned. ERA of 0 0.29, 179 strikeouts. This is going to bring up Haley, excuse me, the number two batter for Montville, and that will be Gabby Donkos. Little change up there, trying to mix it up. Donkos, the catcher, junior. Donkos, 16 of 63, 20 runs scored, 11 RBIs. She's got four doubles. She's hitting 254 with a 317 slugging percentage. Square pulls it back. We're not swinging at that one for sure. Here we go, count game like this. We need every base we can get. Absolutely. So Don goes to Junior. He's been coming off a strong season as progressed at the plate, according to Coach. And her cello dealing right now. And she does get on, she's got good speed. But the key when you're going against these two pitchers tonight is how are you going to get on? You'll That's take it. it however you can get. Find a way. 
And it's a pop-up for the drop-in. What a catch. What a catch out in right field. Wow. Robbing over a hit, and that's Matty Svengenson from Roxbury. Put a star next to that. You know it's a big game tonight. That effort. Well, let's take a look at that. What a play. Tracking that full extension. Laid out championship. Here we go. Here we bring up Caitlin Oleski, the pitcher. First pitch swing, a little dribbler foul. Coach says she does a great job working the count, allowing everyone else to see what that pitcher has. And on the season. She's 34 of 70, 26 runs, 24 RBIs, five doubles, two dingers, and she's hitting 486, but it's 643 slugging percentage. I'm going to guess Eric Jello is in the mid-60s tonight. She is throwing some meat. She's bringing it. It looks like that play got her pretty juiced up. Absolutely. And you said put a star next to that because that could be a big difference. And she's going to strike out 2-3 to end the 1-2-3 inning. So the pitcher's duel is underway here at Landing Park in the finals of the Morris County Softball Championship. We have no score after one. We're going to head to the top of the second right after these messages here live in the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Find a way. At Madison Tire and Auto Repair, LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. We offer a variety of products and automotive services to enhance your vehicle's performance. Our mission is simple. We never promise more than we can deliver, and we always give the customer more than they expect. Because at Madison Tire and Auto Repair, LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. Please call us for a quote or service question at 973-377-377. One nine one five. A certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz from Mercedes-Benz. And it's a pop-up for the drop-in. What a catch. What a catch out. At Madison Tire and Auto Repair, LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. We offer a variety of products and automotive services to enhance your vehicle's performance. Our mission is simple. We never promise more than we can deliver, and we always give the customer more than they expect. Because at Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. Please call us for a quote or service question at 973-377-1915. And we're back here at Landing Park, top of the second Morris County Championship game. We're going to take a look at that great catch by Matty Spang. Coach, take a look at this. Oh, we'll get back to that. We'll start at the top in a second, but it was a great catch. Absolutely. If you saw it live, we'll have it again on a replay. No worries. Thing was slicing to the, towards the foul line. Not sure if it would have been fair or foul, but unbelievable play that uh, definitely got Roxbury going. This thing is laying out for it. That's no, good. no better play in the game. That'll bring up Milsom. from an outfielder. Milsom, 18 for 63, 15 runs scored, 8 RBIs. She's hitting 286, 302 slugging percentage. In the last game they played, she was one for three and scored a run and had an RBI against Olenski. So she's had some success. Let's see what the plan of attack is here. Swing and a miss. Straight heat on that one. Hey, want to thank George Keller and Sons, North Jersey's number one premier home improvement contractor. Go to their website, Mercedes of Paramus and Prospect Baseball Academy, softball and baseball. Check them out on the web. They're our sponsors for tonight's game. We want to thank them. Olenski deals, swing and a miss, and a strikeout. That high fastball, just so tough to lay off of. It looks so good, so appetizing, but when you're bringing it like these two pitchers are, it's very tough. Here's that catch, Coach. He's tracking it the whole way, full extension towards the fence. No regard for our well-being. Love it. Selling out. All right, this will bring up Pinella. Jaden Pinella, she was 0 for 3 against Olenski last time they played. They're only beating. On the season, 19 for 63, eight runs scored, 17 ribbies, hitting 302 with a 440 slugging percentage. Just a bit outside. 
So Olenski has struck out. All the outs recorded have been via the K. He worked around the double of the wild pitch and stranded the runner at third in the top of the first. Another big swing and a miss. In the Morris County Tournament, only allowed the four runs, three earned. Give credit to West Morris for scratching across three. You know, it's gotta be so much tougher. Uh, Coach I was telling me, you've seen it out of that lefty's hand as a right-handed hitter, normally it's an advantage on the baseball field, but they hide it, and Kalen hides it so well. Definitely does. The lefty throws, fouled away. Pinella hanging in there. Again, history will be made tonight. Neither of these programs, as great as they've been over the years, has not won a Morris County Championship. And that says to the volume and great quality of softball in this county. Absolutely. I mean, it's had years where certain teams dominated. And did she go? Yes, she did. Pulling the string on that one. Little off speed change up. Over the years, teams had runs, Morris Knowles, Whippany Park back in the day. <laughs> Plenty of great softball action here in Morris County. So that'll bring up Natalie Otto, third baseman. Natalie, 13 for 50. Four runs scored, 12 RBI. She's hitting 260 with a 500 slugging percentage. Left up high. Mm. Good take. And <clears throat> we'll look back, Olenski getting that strikeout to end the first and that catch by Svengas, it might be two huge plays early in this game to keep this game scoreless. Because again, runs are gonna be a premium tonight. That's it, we're gonna see which one gives first. What's gonna give, who's gonna give? And I've covered softball long enough, Coach, that I, when he's at teams like this, you hate to see a game end on a misplay. Heartbreaking. Pitch, mm. low, left. It. They changed the eye level there. Started with the high fastball, then bringing it down with the low change up in the dirt. Let's see if we come back with another fastball here. Once well, he in a groove, struck out the first two batters of this frame. That's and she's going to strike out the side. That one swing. So one and a half in the books here in the Morris County Championship game. The pitcher's duel, as we expected, is on. No score. We'll head to the bottom of the second here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. At Madison Tire and Auto Repair, LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. We offer a variety of products and automotive services to enhance your vehicle's performance. Our mission is simple. We never promise more than we can deliver, and we always give the customer more than they expect. Because at Madison Tire and Auto Repair, LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. Please call us for a quote or service question at 973-377-1915. A certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz from Mercedes-Benz of Paramus is a lot like a new Mercedes-Benz. It's irresistible in every way, including the price. We have over 200 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Plus, every certified pre-owned comes with factory-backed warranties and coverage to keep your vehicle operating at its best. You expect nothing less from Mercedes-Benz, so expect nothing less from a Mercedes-Benz dealership. When choosing a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz, choose Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. George J. Keller and Sons want your house to be the, the kind of home for all to see. Best roofing, windows, siding too. Great solar and garden. And we're back here at Landy Park here in Roxbury. Bottom of the second, no score. Morris County Championship team, Roxbury and Monville. Leading off for Ro Monville will be number four. Biggio, second baseman on the season. Biggio, 16 of 56, 14 runs scored, 11 ribbies, hitting 286 with a 304 slugging. Big cut there. Got in on the hands. It seems like, it, how would you compare these two pitchers? Like, they got a little different styles. I mean, they both bring the heat, but it just seems like Eric Cello took a little off that. Seems like she's got a little movement on it too, a little right. run on the inside to, to the righties. 
uh, while, while Linsky's been mixing in the off speed pretty well. Yes. So, Eric Cello, two losses. Surprisingly lost to Pope John early in the year, but they bounced back from that Roxbury. Fouled away. And Montville, as we said, their lone loss was to the Gales. But they don't play in the same NJAC division. They're both closing in on division titles. They each have a couple or one game left in their divisions to wrap it up. Roxbury's got to play Chatham and Knowles. And Montville's got to play West Morris, which they beat once already in the regular season and in the Morris County Tournament handily. 10-3 in the semis of the Morris County Tournament, 5-1 in the regular season. But Katie Patel and the Wolfpack still alive in the state tournament. So that no gimme there for these teams to win their division. Absolutely. Again, it goes to the depth of talent in Morris County softball. Always has been. No easy outs. No. And I want to thank all those sponsors you see up there in the corner. Prospects, Barbell, George Keller, Mercedes of Paramus, left up high. But out there, we don't get this game on. Prospects Softball and Baseball Academy is offering huge discounts that ends on May 25th. Get a 10 pack of lessons for 400 bucks for members, 435 for non members. For all the information about Prospect Baseball, go to prospectbaseballacademy.com. And that's going to be line foul. Nice little back going here, fighting things off. For Biggio. Let's see with the pitch to give away what Airchell comes with here. Change things up a little bit. Coach, you might know any relation to Craig Biggio who played his uh, ball at Seton Hall. Good question. I don't think so. But I've known him been wrong before. Gets a good shot up the middle. Second base was going to field it over the first. Flag, the out. Nice job at second base. A little slow track there. That thing didn't take as much of a, a giddy up as. Uh, our take, second baseman thought, but just take a, nice a look job at that covering. again. Gobbling up at second base. Great stretch. Good job by Cam Rita Fezzel and at first base, a good stretch by Pinella. So that's our first out. Then I'll bring up Serena Dang. Dang on the season 13 for 56, 10 runs, 9 RBIs, 1 triple, hitting 232. And defense is premium because you're not going to get a lot of balls coming your way when you got these two in the circle. Absolutely not. No, not, not too many hard hit balls. So right now, Roxbury with the two best defensive plays. Fenginson out in right field. and Nice play by the second baseman, Rita Fessel. Fouled away. Faisal, excuse me. Cam Faisal, Cam Rita Faisal looking for a 100 hit. Possibly tonight. Could be. Tough, tough chore to get two against Caitlin Olenski. Not going to be easy. Dang hanging in there. Grounder. That's a fair ball. That is a fair ball. And she's going to look for two. Nope, mm. she'll hold up at first. Good job by Roxbury to get the ball in. So the first hit of the game will come off the bat of Dang. And that will bring up to Deckel. A really good job turning on that inside stuff. We talked about the movement of the pitch is coming in inside on the hands, and she turned on it, got the bat head out in front from Montville's first hit of the game. Deco, 18 of 58, 10 runs scored, 14 ribbies. She's hitting 310 with a 466 slugging. And we'll see if Coach decides to get some motion going on here. Get some people running. This is where the big time decisions come in. Put the ball in play and see what happens. Every out's a premium. Coach has known to have been a bit of a riverboat gambler himself, so we'll see what he cooks up. Done a great job, over 300 There's wins. The There's a bunt, perfect replaced sack bunt, and they'll get the sacrifice, but two outs runner on second. And that'll bring up Jackie Sinella, the sophomore. Coach said, very good contact hitter, finds ways to get on base. She's 14 to 43, 12 runs scored, seven RBIs, seven walks, so she gets on base. 326, batting average, 349 slugging. See if she can find a hole here. Two outs. For Sinella, the sophomore. Dances away. They'll hold the runner at second. Gonna need a good jump off a of second base to score on this Roxbury defense. No doubt, we were watching them in warmups. Oof. And they got some arms out there. Absolutely, they're coming up throwing. Swing and a miss. Yeah. 
This is two intense competitors in the circle tonight. You can feel their intensity from here, it's, Coach. It's, it's, it's palpable. Eric Cello ready to deal. Sanella, runner on second, two outs. Fouls it away, mm. stays alive. Good cut at that one, but now we gotta get to his, our fighter's stance here. Fight it off, try to find a hole somewhere. Get this run across. A lot of these girls on that great basketball team Derek Lynn has. He does a great job. Always ready to play. Archello deals, fouled away, good at bat. Sanella keeping herself alive. See if Archello continues to climb the ladder. That will look a little bit higher than the last few. One, two count, two outs. Archello doesn't like what she sees, shakes off the catcher. Think she's looking for the single digit? <laughs> It's been working so far. I don't see how we stray, but we'll, we'll see what coach is cooking up. All right, Sanella battling in there, runner in scoring position for the Mustangs. Here's the pitch, rounded, second base gobbled up, and a 4-3 put out. So good job by the second baseman, Reeder Faisal, and Herchel will work around the single and the inning. So through two innings here in the Morris County Championship game, it's top seed in Montville zero, third seed in Roxbury zero. We'll be back for the top of the third right after this, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Hire an auto repair LLC. Our philosophy is the customer is number one. We offer a variety of products and automotive services to enhance your vehicle's performance. Our mission is simple. We never promise more than we can deliver, and we always give the customer more than they expect. Because at Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. Please call us for a quote or service question at 973-377-1915. A certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz from Mercedes-Benz of Paramus is a lot like a new Mercedes-Benz. It's irresistible in every way, including the price. We have over 200 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Plus, every certified pre-owned comes with factory-backed warranties and coverage to keep your vehicle operating at its best. You expect nothing less from Mercedes-Benz, so expect nothing less from a Mercedes-Benz dealership. When choosing a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz, choose Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. Back here at Landy Park, there's a look at the packed house here. Both sides, stands packed, everyone out in the outfield. It's a beautiful night for softball. And also, uh, right down the road in Monville, a place you know a little bit about, they got the baseball county finals going bit, on. A little bit. Delby and Randolph. Randolph making a nice run to the finals should be, there. Should be a great game, two really good teams, two absolutely well-coached teams. Coach Rizzi had Randolph, had a great career at Rutgers Newark. And then Bruce Chattel, what can he coach? That's Ice it. hockey, baseball, just tremendous. And they do it all, two class acts. Absolutely. So Mullen will lead off for Roxbury here in the top of the third. <clears throat> So far, Alinsky six Ks, one hit, no walks. And on the season, Ryan Mullen, the freshman, six for 21, three runs scored, three ribbies, hitting 286. Mm -hmm. A lot of these upperclassmen from Roxbury played in that game last year, but this is a completely new experience for these Montfield girls. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, oh. young, young crew coming in. Championship atmosphere. See what you're made of. Mullen with a big swing. And again, Alinsky jumps out ahead. One, two count here in the top of third. Again, I want to thank Mercedes Benz of Paramus, Prospect Baseball Academy. Go to prospectbaseballacademy.com. They got some great things coming up. And George J. Keller and Sons, Northern, Northern New Jersey's number one contractor. Check them out on the web. Must have been a bit outside there. And a good layoff. You said a great crowd here tonight. Short ride for Roxbury, playing in their hometown. Well, they never their a bad thing. And a big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Five straight Ks for Caitlin Olenski. She's got seven. Again. High fastball coming in. It's got to be so tough to lay off. So tough. This will bring up Josefina Cotero. Tara, the junior, eight for 22, runs scored, three RBIs. She's got two doubles, 
hitting 400, 500 slugging percentage. She's the designated player tonight. One, one, our count. Swing and a miss. Both teams have played nice defense when they've had the opportunity. Not much opportunity for Monsville, but every, all the <laughs> all recorded outs have been strikeouts, and she gets another one. You gotta stay ready. It's that one pitch that gets you. You fall asleep. Exactly. You gotta be ready every single pitch. So this will bring up is Slap. right back to pitcher before I can even give out stats. <laughs> it's a, the first ball put in play. And of course, Alinsky had to be part of it. So she gets to come back with the slap. And take a look at that. And nice put out there. So that'll be the end of the top of the third here at Roxbury. We still have no score in Morris County Championships. Between Monville and Roxbury, we'll be back at the bottom of the third right after this. At Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. We offer a variety of products and automotive services to enhance your vehicle's performance. Our mission is simple. We never promise more than we can deliver, and we always give the customer more than they expect. Because at Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. Please call us for a quote or service question at 973 377 1915. A certified pre owned Mercedes Benz from Mercedes Benz of Paramus is a lot like a new Mercedes Benz. It's irresistible in every way, including the price. We have over 200 pre owned vehicles to choose from. Plus, every certified pre owned comes with factory backed warranties and coverage to keep your vehicle operating at its best. You expect nothing less from Mercedes Benz, so expect nothing less from a Mercedes Benz dealership. When choosing a certified pre owned Mercedes Benz, choose Mercedes Benz of Paramus. George J. Keller and Son. And we're back here live. Landing Park, Morris Southern Sports, Dan Clear, former Montville baseball coach Ian Schwindel. Bottom of the third, leading off will be Lila Monty, the left fielder for the Mustangs. On the season. Monty 12 for 55 with nine runs scored, eight ribbies. She's got a double, she's hitting 218. And kick Caitlin Olinsky in that top of the third. Pretty impressive again with two Ks and then the, the little infield hit, the little bit of infield ground out. So the, the contact made was not too very hard. I haven't seen much yet. Besides the double by Faisal, nothing really leaving the infield. And there's a strikeout. And that'll be the third K for Eric Cello. In there for a strike. This is the third baseman. Julie Kobolacic. There we go. Julie, 16 for 53, 14 runs scored, 11 RBIs. In 302 with a 377 slugging percentage. And a Hilldale Elementary All-Star. There we go. <laughs> Under the tutelage of Coach Swindell. That's it. <laughs> supplying all these great players to Coach I. You know, it's a, it's a factory, this <laughs> elementary school. Strike out there. Factory. Two strikeouts, I bring up the top of the order. This should be Grace Kowalski. And it is Kowalski. She struck out her first time up. Second time around, you order always a big thing. See what any adjustments are made, especially from a great player like Grace. Terrific hoops player. I uh, really enjoyed watching her play the Fun last few watch. years. I've seen a bunch of their battles against Sparta over the last uh. few years and just battle her and Allie Sweeney from Sparta. Yep. Just a lot of fun. Yep. 
So quick two outs, two quick strikeouts for Eric Cello. Oof. And one one count. That looked right in the zone. In there for a strike, one and two. Strike zone seems to have dipped down a little bit. Things are opening up, perhaps. So folks at home, don't run to the refrigerator because you're going to miss <laughs> an, an inning. These two pitchers are pitching like they're double part. <laughs> they are dealing, wheeling and dealing tonight. Two outs here in the bottom of the third. Fouled away, good job by Kowalski. The chess mass continues. Always great to see two great players go at it like this. Ready to deal, fouled away. Kowalski battling, no surprise there because that's the type of athlete she is. Yeah, with the pitch to give here, see if she changes anything up. There, Cello. Two-two count. Mm. Left low. Yeah, down low, yep. Took a little this, something off that. And this is the kind of kid Kowalski is. She's going to battle back in the, and get the count in her, her way. 3-2 here. Doesn't matter how you get on. See if they gamble. Mm. Fouled away. Good battle here. Always a tough decision. Do you, do you risk it when you're going against such a great hitter like this on a 3-2 count in a game like this? Two outs I think they go after. I think so, too. And that's going to be strike three. Eric Cello gets the corner. And another one, two, three inning here in the Morris County Championship game. And we have three in the books here at Landing Park in Roxbury. No score. Top seed in Monfield, third seed in Roxbury. We'll be back with the top of the fourth right after this, live in the Morris Sussex Sports Network. At Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. We offer a variety of products and automotive services to enhance your vehicle's performance. Our mission is simple. We never promise more than we can deliver and we always give the customer more than they expect. Because at Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. Please call us for a quarter service question at 973-377-1915. A certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz from Mercedes-Benz of Paramus is a lot like a new Mercedes-Benz. It's irresistible in every way, including the price. We have over 200 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Plus, every certified pre-owned comes with factory-backed warranties and coverage to keep your vehicle operating at its best. You expect nothing less from Mercedes-Benz, so expect nothing less from a Mercedes-Benz dealership. When choosing a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz, choose Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. George J. Keller and Sons want your house to be the, the kind of home for all to see. Best roofing, windows, siding too. Great solar and gutters, we're here for you. Our seasoned pros are unsurpassed, so give a call, we'll take your task. Transform your home, that's what we do. So give a call, we're here for you. For roofing, siding, windows and so. And we're back here, start of the top of the fourth, Morris County Championship, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Dan Cleary, along with former Mothel, Baseball coach Ian Schwindel, Caitlin Olenski in the circle. Eight Ks, one hit has been terrific. Leading off the top of the fourth would be Haley Ericello. She struck out her first time up, and she takes a swing, strike one. Hey, again, Prospect Baseball and Softball Academy in Randolph, they're going to be running some great discounts. Check them out on prospectbaseballacademy.com. They also have Prospect Baseball Academy is offering discounts for training. So go to Prospect Academy, uh, baseballacademy.com. Mercedes of Paramus and George J. Keller and Sons. So Olenski in a groove, left up high. We had our first put out of the game on the infield grounder by Cam Rita Faisal that the Mustangs gobbled up. Other than that, all the outs have been strikeouts. As we said, coming in with eight Ks. Right now behind in the count, 2-1 to Eric Jello, her counterpart. Eric Jello looks, leads it up. Again, when these two teams played the last time, the 3-0 win, 
for Roxbury. Eric Chell gave a one hit at 15 Ks. Kaylin Olenski, seven hits, 15 Ks. Mm. Eric Chell with the green light. 3-1, looking for your pitch. She looked like she liked that one. Certainly. See if we come back with 3-2. Three, Hitting 381 on the season. Seven doubles and a dinger. She's got some pop in her bat. So 3-2 pitch coming from Olenski. And that's in there, strike three. And she'll start off the top of the fourth with her ninth K. And that'll bring up Kendall Rita Faisal. She hit the double. It kind of just dropped in. As coach pointed, she sliced it like my golf shot. <laughs> and just found the spot. And that's all it takes. Outfield making the adjustments like they're shifting over towards that slap side as well. Playing that slice. Gotta imagine with the heat coming from Olenski. Absolutely. And play away. Swing and a miss. Even up at one, one, one out. Again, wanna thank all those sponsors you see up there. Prospect Baseball, Paramus, Mercedes Benz of Paramus, and George Day Keller and Sons. Mm. Doing a nice job working both sides of the plate there, coach. She's moving it in and out, changing the eye levels, making it very tough on these Roxbury hitters. And right back outside there. Yep. 2-2. Two, two. Well, let's get ready to deal. Let the deals straight mm. three. Sorry. <laughs> so, Rita Faisal goes down swinging. That bring up Maddie Svengenson, who had the defensive gem of the game with that great catch out in right field. She struck out her first time up, so two outs. Usually those great plays in the field translate to the dish in some shape or form. Absolutely. Bounces one in. And coach, the game of softball has changed so much over the years. These kids, this is a huge game, but they've played in tons of huge games, playing travel ball. You know, it, this is nothing really new for That's them. That's it, the amount of games uh, that, that these girls have been playing and, and, and athletes everywhere. It's just, uh, they were battle tested, mm -hmm. battle tested, no surprises anymore. No doubt, and they all know each other because they play each other in the, in the spring and they play each other a hundred times in the summer and the fall. Just makes it that much more fun, I'm sure. Fouled away, catcher can't get to it. One, two count coming up. Two outs already here on the top of the four. Thanks for joining us live on the Morris Southern Sports Network. Dan Cleary along with Ian Schwindel. Started off speed here. Let's see one, two if we go after it again. Swings in a veteran of that team last year that won the section title, lost the heartbreaker here. Looking to make some history. Mm. And another clean inning. One, two, three. All th strikeouts, and we'll head to the bottom of the fourth. No score. Montville, the top seed, number three, Roxbury. You're live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. At Madison Tire and Auto Repair, LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. We offer a variety of products and automotive services to enhance your vehicle's performance. Our mission is simple. We never promise more than we can deliver, and we always give the customer more than they expect. Because at Madison Tire and Auto Repair, LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. Please call us for a quarter service question at 973-377-1915. A certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz from Mercedes-Benz of Paramus is a lot like a new Mercedes-Benz. It's irresistible in every way, including the price. We have over 200 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Plus, every certified pre-owned comes with factory-backed warranties and coverage to keep your vehicle operating at its best. You expect nothing less from Mercedes-Benz, so expect nothing less from a Mercedes-Benz dealership. When choosing a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz, choose Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. George J. Keller and Sons wants your house to be the, the kind of home for all to see. Best roofing, windows, siding too. Great solar and gutters, we're here for you. Our seasoned pros are unsurpassed, so give a call, we'll take your task. Transform your home, that's what we do. So give a call, we're here for you. For roofing, siding, windows and solar, we do it all for you. George J. Keller and Sons. Your family home. At Madison Tire and Auto Repair. 
back here in Landy Park in Roxbury, live on the Morris Southern Sports Network. Dan Cleary, Lauren Ian Schwindel. <clears throat> no score in this championship game as we go to the bottom of the fourth. The top seeded Monville leading off will be Donko's. She flew out to right field. A great catch by Maddie Svengenson. So Kaylin Oleski, 11 Ks, one hit for Monville. Haley Ericello, 5 Ks, one, uh, one hit. Both pitches really dialed in here. Ericello starting off most batters with strikes. And there again, 0-2 quickly on Donkos. Not easy as a hitter going in that 0-2 hole. No. You gotta shift to fight mode as quick as you can. Creep up a little bit on that bat. That's it, get as quick as you can and just look to fight the close ones and hit the mistakes. Nice waist up top. One, two pitch coming from Eric Jello. Fouled away, staying alive. Ian, we were saying between innings about your cousin Frank playing for, yeah. the, for the Cubs. It's, it's, it's an unbelievable thing. Uh, being a Cubs fan myself, uh, seeing him make it to the show, and I actually got to go out to Wrigley Field a couple weeks ago, and it was just a dream come true. And obviously for him, it's an even bigger dream come true. But uh, he's having a lot of fun. The city's enjoying him. And oh, they've fallen in love with him. He went deep today, so good to see the tank uh, Frank hit the, the baseball. Tank. Yeah. Schwindy City. Schwindy City. We're hearing it all. Everything. Schwinning. That's awesome. You name it. <laughs> One, two pitch coming. Good job here by Donkos to stay alive. A shot Gets a hit. hold of it, center field, but camped under it. Mm. And making the catch. Good job there by the center fielder, Leah Milson. Just a long out. Good at bat, and she had that the whole way. Great job tracking in the outfield. Not easy with these lights as the sun's starting to set. Here's a look at it. Cool, calm, and collected. One of the better hit balls of the night. Yes, indeed. Milsom just dropped back, got under it, and made the catch. First out of the end. This will bring up Olenski. She struck out and was a 2-3 put out, swinging third strike. But a nice job there by Leah Milsom. She had showed no panic there. She planted under there and squeezed it. Can of corn. That's what you love out of your center fielder. The Milsom family, they sang the national anthem tonight. Oh, they're fantastic. It was awesome. Fans still coming in. Game's gone so fast. <laughs> They're probably think, surprised to look at the scoreboard and see that it's the fourth inning already. If you parked in the far parking lot in the second inning, it'd be the fourth <laughs> inning that you got here. Might Bally as well just watch it with us, huh? Absolutely. Thanks for everyone tuning in tonight. Hey, we want to thank Wayne Garino, the AD of Monville. John Hack, great AD of Morris Catholic. Stu Mason. Helping run the things from Roxbury. Always great to deal with the Morris County ADs. It's a great group of guys right there. Found the way. Ian, I'm so old. I covered Wayne when he played football at Jefferson. Oh, my goodness. They went to the state finals on one of the coldest nights I've ever been. Uh, for, for, for those stories. They played at Montville, uh, Mount Olive High School. It was brutal. Mm. Back in, I think, 2001, 2002. Wayne, great guy. Does a oh, great yeah. job. Coach G. And little jam shot caught by the third baseman for the second out of the inning. And that's Natalie Otto. So right now, as we take a look at that, Coach, second time through, they're getting a better look. I mean, nothing hard hit, but it's not all Ks right now. Better look, but it looks like uh, Eric Chell is doing a good job continuing to move the, move the ball around, that time getting it on the hands of the lefty Olenski. Not easy to do from that right to left this perspective. Bring, this will bring up Biggio, the second baseman. She grounded out the second. The Cam Rita Faisal. So she put the ball, the bat on the ball for the Mustangs. Big swing and miss, high fastball. Quickly 0 and 2. Eric Cello's retired six in a row. Actually, seven in a row with the sack bunt. Call time. First time I've seen from a batter 
And with the way these pitchers are throwing, you kind of want to try to mess up the rhythm best you can. So Absolutely. It's a great idea. Happens. Grounder to short, gobbled up nice over the first. Great and play. a one, Tough two, high. three inning. Nice job there by the shortstop, Ryan Mullen. So a clean inning again for the Roxbury. We're going to head to the top of the fifth here in the Morris County Championship game. No score. Top seed in Monfield, number three, Roxbury. We'll be right back right after this. The customer is number one. We offer a variety of products and automotive services to enhance your vehicle's performance. Our mission is simple. We never promise more than we can deliver, and we always give the customer more than they expect. Because at Madison Tire and Auto Repair LLC, our philosophy is the customer is number one. Please call us for a quote or service question at 973-377-1915. A certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz from Mercedes-Benz of Paramus is a lot like a new Mercedes-Benz. It's irresistible in every way, including the price. We have over 200 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Plus, every certified pre-owned comes with factory-backed warranties and coverage to keep your vehicle operating at its best. You expect nothing less from Mercedes-Benz, so expect nothing less from a Mercedes-Benz dealership. When choosing a certified pre-owned Mercedes-Benz, choose Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. George J. Keller and Sons want your house to be the, the kind of home for all to see. Best roofing, windows, siding too. Great solar and gutters, we're here for you. Our seasoned pros are unsurpassed, so give a call, we'll take your task. Transform your home, that's what we do. So give a call, we're here for you. For roofing, siding, windows and solar, we do it all for you. George J. Keller and Sons. Your family owned operation since 1980. Call for your free estimate. And we're back here at Landy Park in Roxbury, top of the fifth. And that will bring up here in the top of the fifth. The center fielder, Leah Nilsson. Leah, last time out, struck out. But there's been 11 strikeouts already in this game. Is Olenski 11 strikeouts, mm. one hit, she's retired 10 in a row. That looked a little low there, Dan. Swing it in the foul back. That was a good idea to show that bunt there. Look how far Monfo crept up. Taking a hack there. Tough to make a play halfway down the line. Now she's backing up. Just outside. One and two. Top of the fifth. Again, we made the point earlier, when you have such great pitchers here, you just don't want this championship to be decided by a misplay. Absolutely not. Hopefully it's a it's a, a clean, clean hit. Like last it. year was a clean hit. There's a strikeout. 12 on the game for Olenski, and this will bring up Pinella. Pinella struck out her first time up. She's got a lot of pop in her bat, though. So if she connects, Roxbury could be in good shape. Let's see how they throw to her right here. Lift up high. A little extra on that one, it looked like. No doubt. Again, I want to thank those sponsors. You see them right there. Mercedes-Benz of Paramus, George J. Keller and Sons, and Prospect Baseball Academy. They're the reason why this game is on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. So a big shout out to them. A shout out to Coach Greg Trotter watching us at home. There we Coach go. Coach Trot, Roxbury legend. Absolutely. Morris County legend. No doubt. in the dirt and uh, congratulations to our man from Roxbury who just retired Cosmo LaRusso great oh, football coach Cos the best the best he'll be missed for sure his daughters were all great softball players in North Warren kidding so 3-1 count here so good job working the count is Pinella don't want to make a mistake here don't want to give in I think she'll keep nibbling Pinella, as we said, has got some pop. Mm. She takes three and two. Took a little off that. Again, these guys, these two pitchers, they're not just throwers. They're pitchers. They're putting in spots. Here they are. 
And gets the strikeout. Good battle there, but that's going to be won by Alinsky. Such a tough thing to do to come back to from that and throw two pitches like that. Both pitchers showing it tonight. I bring up Natalie Otto, the third baseman. She also struck out. But unless he's got 13 of those already. Fouled away. Quick two outs here in the top of the fifth. You see Prospect Barbell, all part of the, part of the Prospect Baseball Academy. Check them out on the web. Coach, is there anything to read into that Monville's put the ball in play, whereas Roxbury really hasn't. Hey, look Think? at the strikeout numbers. This looks like uh, lensky has been a bit more of a power pitcher, uh, and Erichel plays a little bit more to that contact. She's got a good number of strikeouts, but she's got a good defense behind her, and that's another part of being a good pitcher. you, you got to trust the defense behind you. You can't try to overpower everybody because there's some good hitters out there. 0-2 pitch coming. And another strikeout, 14 on the game. Olenski, 13 in a row. And we're going to head to the bottom of the fifth here in the championship game. We have no score between top seeded Montville and number three, Roxbury. We'll have that bottom of the fifth right after this, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Boone, we just finished servicing your vehicle. Nice. We replaced your windshield wipers, changed your cabin air filter, and topped off your windshield wiper fluid. Wow, thanks, Jason. Is there anything you guys can't do? When it comes to regular maintenance, we can do almost everything right in your driveway. Whether you're at home or at the office, Mercedes-Benz of Paramus Mobile Service will give your vehicle the care it needs without interrupting your day. No matter the make or model, call or visit MercedesBenzParamus.com to schedule your appointment today. If you've ever been around bad leadership, you know it right away. Find out what it takes to be a great leader in the book, Don't Wait, Lead Now by Jim Lord. Filled with real world experiences and lessons that you can easily apply to your own situation, Don't Wait, Lead Now will help you become a more effective leader, whether in business, family, or life in general. Start your leadership journey and reach your full potential. Learn more and order at don'twaitleadnow.com. That's don'twaitleadnow.com. Thank you for calling Mercedes-Benz of Paramus Mobile Service. This is Amanda speaking. How may I help you? Turn your living room into a waiting room with Mercedes-Benz of Paramus Mobile Service. The same. All right, we're back here at Landing Park in Roxbury, Morris County Championship. Caitlin Oleski and Haley Ericello doing a great job tonight in the circle. We have no score. It'll be Dang, Kadekel, and Sinella for the Mustangs. And Dang has the lone hit for... Monville. Let's see if Monville can get something going here. Ericello, five Ks, only giving up the one hit. And dang, ripped that down the third base line. Good job by the Roxbury outfield to hold that to a single. That was Mariah Remus. Did a great job. Squared it around. Show the hands. Get people moving a little bit. The dance continues. I've always been a fan of that. I'm not crazy about what Major League Baseball has turned into. I love the sacrifice bun. I love moving people around. Yep. The looks numbers say you don't do it, but on the high school level, you have to. Looks like they're getting a little bit more of that going. The Metsies, too. Get yeah. a little, it's starting to shift a little bit. So, one two pitch coming to Dang. Strike out there, start the bottom of the fifth. 6K for Eric Cello, this will bring up Kadekel. She sacrificed Deng her first time up, so no at bat yet. Horn's got some pop, she can get a hold one here. Coach, you got a big fan base out there in uh, <laughs> the internet land, uh, in the com box. Co Coach Norton, I see. Yeah, look at that. The man. You're going to have to get an agent, Coach. <laughs> Dan Cleary along with Ian Schwindel. Ian doing a great job. Thank Takes you. a little off there. That's in there. I'm having a blast. Why not? It's high school softball, beautiful night, two great teams. Can't get better than this. Absolutely not. The only thing might be equal, 
Just being over at Monville tonight yeah, watching Del Barton and Randolph in baseball. That's true. Three nothing I heard baseball wise. Uh, Del Barton in the fourth. Another swing. They've owned that tournament. They've won eight straight, I believe. Oh, eight just, straight uh, Morris County just, championships. Just outstanding. It's the dynasty. We took them down last year, though. There you go. <laughs> Claim the fame. Monville baseball always good. You did, you did a great job over there, and there's a swing and a miss. And they're having a great year this year. Coach D's doing an outstanding job himself. Great to see. They bring up Sinella. She grounded out the second her first time up. So she put the bat on the ball. But Eric Cello here in the bottom of the fifth, maybe picking up a little steam here, picking up a couple of Ks. She's got seven. She's retired 10 in a row. They say these softball arms don't get tired like the baseball arms. They say that, but you know what? The real big-time programs have two pitchers. Yes. Uh, although these two programs, when you, these are two are just special. Yes. So you ride those horses. Right. But a lot of the, you know, Morris Catholic, which won it last year, Nick DiGiorno had those two sub pitchers, Stryker sure. and Mockenhop. So it's uh, it's kind of changed those days where you're going to have a girl throwing every inning of every game have ended. Mm. That's low. One one on the count, two outs. I go back to the early 2000s when Kristen DePasquale was at Jefferson. She had the state record for wins, 101. She, oh my goodness. That's 25 wins a year from freshman year on. That's a lot of wins. She played for the great Eddie Levins. Won a couple of a couple of three of these Morris County titles over the years. Eddie was having good battles. Eddie with a couple of state titles. Jefferson, another great program in Morris County. Two outs, 1-1 one, one pitch. Mm. It's in there for a strike. Continuing to work up, down, in. It's it's outstanding what these two pitchers are doing with, with that softball up there today. And next inning, because this inning going as fast as well. We'll mention everyone that's still alive in the state tournament for Morris County. Fouled away. Paquanic, a number 10 seed in North 1 Group 2, is in the semifinals. They can wow. play Lakeland. These two teams still alive. That Liberty Division, all small schools. Morris Catholic, Whippany Park, Hanover Park, Madison, Paquanic. All still alive in the state no tournament. No kidding. Congrats to them. Just the, you know, even the smaller schools in Morris County have been dominant yep. in softball, fouled away. I mean, all those years, Hanover Park, Whippany Park. Madison's still alive as well, as we said. Mm. But Quantic, three and five in their division, and then in the semifinals of their section. That's a good division. And the American division that uh, Roxbury's in, you got Sparta, Morris Knowles, and then the national uh, Montville's in, you got mm -hmm. West Morris. So many pretty great teams. And there's a strikeout to end the inning. Sarah Chiel will strike out the side. She's got eight Ks, and we're going to head to the top of the six. No score here in the Morris County Championship game between top seeded Montville and number three, Roxbury. We'll be back with the top of the six right after this, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Thank you for calling Mercedes-Benz of Paramus Mobile Service. This is Amanda speaking. How may I help you? Turn your living room into a waiting room with Mercedes-Benz of Paramus Mobile Service. The same quality and care you'd expect right at your home or office. Shop for tires from all the major brands on our online store. Have them installed by a factory trained technician when and where it's convenient for you. Mercedes-Benz of Paramus has you covered. Book your mobile service appointment today. Call or go online at MercedesBenzParamus.com. You're there for them. We're here for you. Get back the life you love. Few dealerships stand out like Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. From the inside to the outside, we have it all. A top-of-the-line showroom and lounge. The finest luxury cars, SUVs, and certified pre-owned, too. A used car center. All makes and models in a wide range of prices. Choose between our on-site service center or we'll come to you. Here, our sales team makes your complete satisfaction their number one goal. Stand out in a vehicle from Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. And we're back here, Landing Park here in Roxbury. Top of the six leading off for Roxbury will be Mullen. 
She struck out her first time up at the shortstop. She made a nice play at short. Mikhail Olinsky's just been on fire. So is Haley Herrera. We were no surprise there. Olinsky with 14 Ks and allowing one hit. She's retired 13 straight. Yeah, that's you know if she's gonna do that. That's just not fair. Just pulling the string there. <laughs> that's that's got to be tough. The way she's been bringing it with the fastball. That's just not Mixing fair. Mixing it up there, dropping that in. See Prospect Baseball and Softball Academy up there. And right away, Olinsky starts with another K. Her 15th, she's retired 14 in a row. They bring up Cretero, the designated player. She struck out her first time up. Lefty up there, lefty on lefty. Big swing and a miss. See a lot of these rocks, bigger hitters, just just a bit behind. It's got to be hard to pick up that softball. So it's a really good job hiding it. Oh, that's a tough break right there. That'll be a ball. Oh, I thought that went off the bat. I thought it was a foul ball. One Not one. Bad. One one our count. Big swing. Roxbury in the state tournament will play on Wednesday. They'll play number three, Old Japan, 22 and five. They got a great player, Isabella Chagranis. Hit 646. Mm. There's another strikeout. Now bring up Cameron Rita Faisal. She struck out and grounded out. Over for two. And Monville waiting to see who won that Knowles Ramapo game was supposed to finish today. And if both teams win their semis, these two teams will see each other again for a second championship. Do, do it again. Why not? I would love it. Yeah. That would be awesome. Absolutely. We'll have to get Garino and uh, Stu Mason on that. Get us on. I think so. So you can work your magic there with uh, <laughs> Coach Garino. We'll put in a word. There we go. Quick two outs. Rita Faisal slapped her first the second time up, but it was a good job of the Monville defense. Needs two for 100. And considering these kids lost their sophomore year, she slaps it into center. And right under it, squeezing in center field, Jackie Sinella. So one, two, three inning for Alensky. But, but they do get a piece of it. So they'll fly out to center field. For the third out, there's the look. Sinella under it. So five and a half in the books here in the Morris County Championship game. Still no score. We'll be back. With the bottom of the six, right after this, live in the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Our goal at Reiner Pump Systems has been to provide customers with the best quality pumps and packaged pump systems that have solved their water and wastewater problems. We have been successful at satisfying our customers through honesty, hard work, engineering, fair prices, and outstanding customer service. Our greatest asset are the people dedicated to make Reiner Pump Systems a leader in the water and wastewater marketplace. Reiner Pump Systems started in 1998 as a family-owned business and has grown into one of the most respected pump sales force in the Northeast and now Pacific Northwest. Our success has been nothing short of amazing. We are now considered by most the go-to pump house for replacement pumps, big and small. Reiner Pump Systems. Hey, don't you just love it when Morris Sussex Sports broadcast your games? Or do you prefer a silent motion detecting camera just following the movement on the court? Let's face it, the only real way to watch your favorite team is through Morris Sussex Sports award-winning service that it's brings you play-by-play -play commentary, right Back here, bottom of the sixth, a great pitcher's duel. Caitlin Olenski, Haley Ericello, no score. Olenski, 16 Ks, one hit. Has retired 16 in a row since that bloop double in the first inning. Mm. And Ericello's going to take it on Monty here. Monty struck out her first time up, the left fielder for Monville. 
Ericello, Ericello with 11 straight, she's retired. Popped up foul. Again, we joked before, they're pitching like they're double parked. It's no, going quick. No wasted moment. Movement. We're only about an hour 10 into this game. It's crazy. I know. It'll be the third inning of a baseball game. Yeah. <laughs> At most. Mm. Now the way. I was talking about Jefferson before, back in my old days of, of being a baseball a softball writer for a uh, local paper in Sussex. I remember I went down and covered Jefferson against Kingsway in the state final. Girl from Kingsway threw a no-hitter. The game was over 55 minutes. It took us two hours to get to Tom's River. Oh, my goodness. That's something. Mm. Out of the way, staying fighting, alive. Fighting, fighting. Good job by Monty. I love that the finals never up a cane for us North Jersey guys. It's a great field down there. Beautiful complex, yep. I yeah, wouldn't be surprised if we saw some Boris County representatives in state finals this year, including one of these two teams. Right. And that's going to line into right. Is that fair? And it will be ball. a fair ball. So Bonfield will lead off the bottom of the six with a single by Monty. All right, the chess game begins, Coach. What are we doing here? Are we bunting? Are we running? What are we doing? I can't see us not button, but we'll see what Coach Immediato is bringing right now. Bottom of the order, Julie Kobalarsic. Got to imagine a bunt's coming. Number nine hitter struck out first time up. Roxbury's expecting it, looks like. Definitely. Monty's got decent speed at first. Drops it down. Eric Schell gets the safe out at first. Good job. Great job by your number nine batter to get the runner in scoring position. It's that tail gunner spot. We're thinking the nine hitter is our last batter, but I'll tell you what, turning that lineup over and setting the table like Julie just did, that's a big, important job. It's almost like you got two leadoff batters. That's it, that's what you want. Let's bring up Kowalski, struck out twice, but two great at-bats. See if she can time down Eric, Eric Jello. And Coach Paul Cotelli is going to go out and talk to the Gales. Paul's done a great job since taking over the program. Fourth season, won that section title. Took over for Diane Noggle Douglas, who I got to talk to before the game, as we mentioned. And as we said, our little fun fact was an amazing athlete at Montville in their Hall of Fame. Yes. The coach at Roxbury, most of her coaching career has been all at Roxbury field hockey and uh, in softball. She's How still involved that? in youth softball in town, coaching her kid. So I'm sure a coach is telling them where are we going with this? Because they could drop down another one. Absolutely. Yeah, you, see, you see it plenty of times in softball and coach definitely talking to his runner about the situations. You know, it's, it's, it's easy to lose your head as a, as a base runner, especially with no force. You don't want to run into a tag and, and, and lose that scoring position. So make sure you're taking all precautions, but I'm sure he's letting her know you see something off the bat. Get a great jump, and uh, let's try to get this run. And the left fielder's got to be open here because if they do go to third, overthrow, she's got to be ready. Another important job in this game, backing up. I've seen games lost because the left fielder was kind of sleeping on something like mm. that. There, she, she's going to hold. Actually, so Pompton Lakes lose to Boundbrook in a state final. Kids stole third. They threw it into left. The left fielder wasn't oh, paying attention. Oh, no. Boundbrook won in the bottom of seventh, one nothing. That's a little that's a little league mistake right there. And unfortunately not all little league coaches do a good job teaching that. But nope. They don't talk about exit velo. That's it. <laughs> that's the game these days. Why are you telling a ten year old exit velo? <laughs> Back up, hit your cuts. That's right. Do the little things. So Kowalski, one one count on her, Ericello. She puts it on the it's ground, goes through for a base hit to the right. They're gonna send the runner. And no, she's going to come back, and that's a great job getting back to third. And what a throw Walsky from Svengensen. Great job cutting off that runner. Coach Immediato was sending and did a great job hopping on that softball. And Watch Svengensen with the gun. And a great job by the catcher. Wow. Blocking that uh, that softball, too, because that no could have led to a run as well. Nice, a little short hop. Just great saved the run right there. by Kendall Rita Faisal. But second and third. As the runner goes to second on the throw, and that'll bring up Donkrose. Potential walk. And she'll walk to load the bases. And that'll bring up Kaylin Olenski. And uh, I know it's your first game doing broadcasting, but by law, when the pitcher gets up, we have to say they can help their hey, own that's cause. That's it, that's it. China, help <laughs> yourself here. And I'm sure she's thinking of nothing else. You go to broadcast jail if you don't say that. <laughs> so Kaylin Olenski struck out and lined the third. 
She has a chance to help herself here at the top, mm. and she goes up hacking. She's itching. She's rough. She wants it right now. Bags loaded. One out. So many ways to get this run in. The unsung hero right now, Kobolarsuk with the sack bunt. It's a big time play. Kowalski with the single to right, but Svengenson coming up gunning. Mm. Chopped away, 0-2 count. A little over anxious, looks like going up the ladder twice. Now here's the thing with both of these pitchers. Eric Cello and Olenski, they can strike out the next three. It's, it's not out of the question for Not sure. out of the question at all. But here in the bottom of the sixth, huge situation. One out, bags full of Mustangs. Both schools looking for their first ever Morris County Championship. Mm. Just outside. Mm. One, two. Eric Cello wanted that one. Expect up the ladder again. Biggio on deck. She's put the ball in play twice. You don't want a pass ball here on an off-speed pitch. Nope. Grounder. And that's going to be deep. They're going to throw home. And the runner is safe. safe. Tough angle for us to see that, so an RBI fielder's choice for Alensky as Monty will come in to score and the bases will remain loaded. One nothing Monville. There's that two strike approach we talked about. Wasn't gonna let any the close ones get by her. Put it in play, made something happen. So Alensky, if you take a look at this, good job of the shortstop to get there. Mullen, she goes home. Plenty of time crossing the bag, trying to get the force. But now the bags are still loaded with one out, and that'll bring up Biggio. So the run comes in, not on a single. On a fielder's choice, beating it out. Olenski with the RBI, ground to the third. That'll bring up Biggio. She's put the ball in play. And that's key. That's what you want again here. Try to scratch Absolutely. another. Absolutely. A little, little breathing room in yeah. a game like this goes a long way. And if you're Roxbury, you got to come home. That's it. And the shortstop did the right job. People might say, why don't you step on third? Try to get that runner at home. That's a tough thing to do right there in yes, a game it like is. this. Pop foul. Absolute right job by Mullen. She can't be upset by that. No way. She did a good job to get to the ball. Yep. Because it just slipped past Otto with third. O2 pitch coming. DiBiggio. Mm. Popped up, goes off the backstop. So Monville scratched across the run here in the bottom of the sixth. A big run for the Mustangs and Coach I. He was here in 2013 with that great team with Sammy Booth and Jess Chilongo. I got a chance to see those teams play. They, they could hit. Mm. Sammy Booth went to, went to pace, I believe. Wow. Boy, she could hit. Garicello can dig in here. She's been digging in, continuing to throw strikes. Looking ahead, top of the seventh. It's Ericello, Feschel, Afazel, and Svengas in 2-3-4. For Roxburgh, grounded foul. Mm. So the Mustangs from Monfield breaking through here in the bottom of the sixth inning. one nothing our score. Field of choice grounder by Olenski, the pitcher. Bags remain loaded with one out. And Biggio in the box. The Frosh. Grounder back to the pitcher. The force oh. to throw is high. Run, run will score. And his second run will come in. Two run score. And it's three, nothing Monville. Wow. Absolutely, heads up, base running, coming around third, wheeling around on that play for that second run to cross. She was not stopping. That was Don Rose. That'll bring up Dang, so three nothing on the E. And it goes back to what we were saying all game, Coach. We'd hate to see tough that. Tough break, tough break for Roxbury for sure. Two runs come in on the comebacker. But there's a top of the seven to be played. This is far from over, the way Roxbury swings the bat. Bunt it, bunt. fair, safe. and safe. Another run comes in, and the RBI bunt from Dang. Mustangs are cooking right now. They're using everything, every tool they got right now. 
to continue this lead. So down with the two hits today. We'll give that a single because she got she beat that home. So runners on first and third. Let's see if they try to get that runner over. Still only one out. Kadekal up. She Another squares. Bunt. Again, goes back to her point. You put the ball in play, little ball, anything Things can happen. happen. There, Things there, happen. There was, there weren't very hard hit balls, um, but you see what happens when you put it in play. You got a shot. That's it. Roxbury's just got to keep the damage now at four. They got to keep that runner at third. Her cello needs to get a K here. Mm. Low. One and one. One, one coming from Eric Cello. Oof, Catches the, the corner. Spot. One, two. Trying to keep that ball down and keep that bunt out of fair territory. So Fielder's choice, ground uh, RBI, two runs on an E, and an RBI bunt by Dang. And that's our four runs here in the bottom of the sixth. Live on Morris Southern Sports Network, Dan Clear along with Montville, former Montville baseball coach Ian Schwindel. 2-2. Two -two. Grounder. Oh. And they'll get the run in, and that'll be 5 nothing. and they didn't tag the bag at first, so everybody's safe. Yeah, unfortunately, she got crossed up there. Yes. She wanted to cut that run down at home. So, got to bring up Sinella. For five runs here in the bottom of the six, but not one real hard hit ball. <laughs> RBI fielder's choice there. Dang on second. Kadeka with the RBI bunt on first. That brings up Sinella. It's the only one out, I believe. Still one out. The scoreboard had it, had it off. One out, and that was the sack bunt. They gave up yes. that out. And this just gives this Montville team so much confidence as they step in the box. They see one guy, one kid do it, the rest can do it. Faisal the, the second, and they'll get the force. First and third here, see if they try to sneak another runner over in the scoring position. 6-4 field of choice. I bring up Monty, who led off this inning with the single. As they've batted around, coach. What an inning. Mm. Swing. Good job. We have a phase behind the plate, Kendall. 2-3-4 coming up in the top of the seventh for the Gales. Again, this could be the, this is the second of possibly three meetings they could play mm. each other in the state section mm. final. That would be great. This has been a great game. It certainly has. So 0-2 count. Ercello trying to get out of this with runners on the corner. Keep it at five. Fouled away. Monty got it going with the single. Sack bunt. Kowalski singled. Second and she went to second on the throw home. They held the runner. Smart move by Coach I. And then they came home on the RBI ground out. Well, grounder to, to short. Pop, pop foul. And then an unfortunate break for Roxbury to come back. Her two runs scored on the E. And then another bunt single RBI. And that's where we stand. Five nothing. Those plays where you think you have a lot of time, it just it's hard sometimes. You, you hold the ball a little too long, and you saw it happen. Lewin inside, one and two. The runners on the corner, five run inning. Kowalski and Monty with the hard hit balls, everything else, small ball. Oof, right back to Eric Shiello, great, great job by her to end the inning. But the damage is done. Five runs come across here in the bottom of the sixth. And we will head to the top of the seventh of the Morris County Championship 
It's top saves. It took a Eric Cielo. Great job with the comebacker. Wow. As we'll head to the top oh, of the seventh. Won. Last chance for Roxbury, the number three seed. They trail 5 nothing, And we'll have that top of the seventh right after this, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Hey, don't you just love it when Morris Sussex Sports broadcast your game? Or do you prefer a silent motion detecting camera just following the movement on the court? Let's face it, the only real way to watch your favorite team is through Morris Sussex Sports' award winning service that brings you play by play commentary live instant replays, cool cinematic graphics, real-time scoreboard, fun fan engagement, and much, much more. Plus, all of our broadcasts are free to watch. Grandparents can easily pull it up on their smart TVs, and alumni can watch from all over the world. So if you want to reserve us, have your games broadcasted the Morris Sussex Sports way, then just reach out to me, George Muha, at george at morrisessexsports.com, or call or text me at 973 713 5944. We're back here, top of the seventh Morris County Championship, top seed of Monville, huge bottom of the sixth, scoring five runs as they're three outs away from winning their first ever Morris County Championship. Hey, again, we want to thank Prospect Baseball Softball Academy and Randolph. They got a lot of great deals going on. Go to prospectbaseballacademy.com. We also want to thank Mercedes of Paramus. Go to their website, MercedesParamus.com. They got great quality vehicles there. And George J. Keller and Sons, North Jersey's number one contractor since 1980. Go to GJKeller.com. All right, 234 coming up for the Gales. This will be Haley Ericello. She struck out twice. And last chance here for Roxbury. They lost a heartbreaker here last year in the bottom of the seventh to Morris Catholic, and then a big inning here for, or a big inning, uh, last inning, bottom of the sixth for the Mustangs. So Olenski, 16 Ks, one hit. She's retired 16 in a row since that double to Kendall Rita Faisal. She has retired everyone since in a row. Pretty impressive. Very. And I don't think it'd be crazy if they hold on that she will be our MVP. <laughs> we demand a recount. <laughs> And she's going to start the frame with a K. 17 in a row, 17 strikeout. Just taking care of business on both sides. And this At the dish, on the mound. What a game. And this will bring up Kendall Reader Faisal. She has the only hit, that double that dropped into left field in the first inning. Takes a strike. And the season doesn't end for both these teams. They still have league games they have to finish up in the American and National Division and state tournament play. Plenty to play for. Absolutely. Roxbury wants to defend that section title in North 1 Group 3, which is a meat grinder. Mm. And again, Coach and I being selfish, we want to see these two teams oh play again. Oh, my goodness. Why not? High, sky high, first baseman under it, makes the catch. Play. That was a lot tougher than it looked. Those foul balls are always going to come back into play. It's, it's whatever science is. That's what it does. Always coming back. Got to keep those feet moving, which Kadekel did. Great job. Great job by Kadekel is right. Two outs now. This will bring up Svengensen. She struck out twice. Swing. 17 Ks. She's retired. 19 in a row, looking for 20 in a row to end this game. One, one count. Now, if you're lucky, this, she's probably gonna rear back and get a little bit mm. more, and there's right there, she just did that. One, two count, one expect, out. Expect away. more of the same here. She's gonna rear she's back feeling the it. This might have a little extra on it. This is a big one. Mm. And she gets the strikeout. Congratulations to the Montville Mustangs as they are your 
2022 Morris County Softball Champs. Congratulations, Mustangs, as they post the 5-0 win for their first championship in school history. What Coach, an outstanding game. What an outstanding game. Both teams, nothing to be ashamed of. Roxbury played an outstanding game. Just came down to one tough inning. A little, little, little blooper. Couple, uh, couple hit balls to the infield, and uh, you know, like we said, two strikes, making things happen, putting the ball in play. It didn't roll Roxbury's way, but like we said, they got a lot more to play for, and they're going to be one tough out in that Section Three state championship bracket. Roxbury will go to 19 and three. We'll still have division games in states. Montville improves to 20 and one. Kalen Oleski, 18 strikeouts. My goodness, one hit. What a job! So she probably are. MVP, I would think. Sounds likely. So again, folks, we want to thank Prospect Baseball and Softball Academy in Randolph. Go to their website, prospectbaseballacademy.com. They got some great things going on. And Prospect Barbell, which is part of them, they're offering some great deals. Go to their website, prospectbaseballacademy.com. Mercedes-Benz of Paramus. If you're thinking about buying or leasing a new vehicle, they're the place to go in Paramus. And George J. Keller & Sons, North Jersey's number one contractor since 1980. George has been a great supporter of Morris Sussex Sports. So we want to thank him. Go to their website, gjkeller.com. Well, Coach, it's been an absolute pleasure doing the game. We're going to have to get you out here more. <laughs> Thanks, here this Morris was fun. Sports. This was a lot of job. fun. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. All right. Well, folks, don't go anywhere. We're going to have hopefully have some post-game reaction from the Mustangs right after this, live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. These over the years, from the big banks where I thought I could get the best most competitive rate to the small guys where I thought I'd get more personalized service. And I never thought I could have it both until I met Family First. Family First gave me the most competitive rates in the market with unmatched service. Their team is incredible. They were always at arm's reach, ready to answer my questions, help me weigh different loan options, and work through some of the most challenging closing situations and timelines. I have to say without a doubt, Family First is the best in the business, and I strongly recommend them if you're looking to finance or refinance your home. Have you ever needed a day to relax during these stressful times? Well, then look no further than Modern Acupuncture. Modern Acupuncture will ensure your time there will not only be relaxing, but make you feel rejuvenated. Not only will your stay be comfortable, but safe as well. All staff at Modern Acupuncture practice safe social distancing guidelines and keep all equipment and room sanitized after each visit. Modern Acupuncture, making lives better. Rich Latman, realtor with Keelan Latman, Sotheby's International Realty, enjoys helping clients through the process of selling their home and finding their dream home. Whether you need more space, are a first time home buyer, or ready to downsize, Rich can help. Rich is a National Association of Realtors Circle of Excellence Award winner and one of the top producers in his area. With Rich, you can always expect expert analysis, excellent service, and exceptional results. For all real estate in Morris and Somerset counties, contact Rich Latman at 908 839-8487 or by email at rlatman at klsir.com Semino and Philippone is a New Jersey based law firm with offices in Morristown and Hazlitt devoted to providing quality legal representation and personal attention in the areas of residential and commercial real estate estate planning, and personal injury. Contact Joe Philippone at 732-203-0060 or by email at jphilippone at cf-lawfirm.com.
We head to the Morris County Wrestling Tournament at Mount Olive High School as the number one seed Connor Martin from Del Barton took on undefeated Dylan Pasture from Jefferson in the 285 pound final. Pasture did a great job taking Martin to the mat and after a hard fought effort was able to pin the number one seed in just 24 seconds. With the win, Pasture improves his record to an impressive 17 0 and takes home the title in the 285 pound division. Here's Kittatinny's Michaela Caruso as the Cougars hosted Hapakon. Caruso had a career night with 17 points, 10 rebounds, and 13 blocks. That's almost unheard of. For the season, Michaela averages around four blocks a game as the Cougars continue their winning ways. No stranger to the wrap-up report, here's Mo Beard's Hollis Humphreys with a two-goal performance against Seton Hall Prep. That would be Hollis's 20th and 21st goal of the season as he's had a great year. But the Crimson would fall short to the Pirates, 4-3. The wrap-up reports weekly superstar shots is brought to you by Sussex County Community College is committed to helping you achieve your educational goals. Applications are accepted year-round with no specific deadline. Apply today to enroll in one of their quality programs and check out their athletic department by visiting sussex.edu or sussexskylanders.com. If you want to catch even more highlights from more Sussex Sports broadcasts, tune into the wrap-up report as we feature top plays and athletes as well as upcoming previews of the teams you want to watch out for that weekend. You can check us out on Thursdays at 6 p.m. right here on Morris Sussex Sports. Whether you are a trucker or a landscaper, accountant or carpenter, needing workers' compensation, general liability, or commercial auto insurance, Gladstone Coverage Group has you covered. Gladstone Coverage Group is a one-stop agency specializing in many types of insurance, including life, personal, business, and Medicare supplement insurance, as well as employee benefits, serving many communities throughout New Jersey. As an insurance partner protecting you and future generations, contact Tyler Brinson at 908-698-0477 or by email at tylerb at gladstonecoverage.com and tell him Morris Sussex Sports sent you. If you're not getting the most comfort out of your system, check this out. Like the rest of your neighbors, you want your home to be as comfortable and inviting as possible. It's no surprise with the winter storms around here. The demand for system repairs are way up, which means waiting around for a while for a technician to show up and having to be stuck feeling uncomfortable for a long time, which is why at ICS, we make sure to service your home quickly and efficiently so you can get back to feeling warm and comfortable again. So if you don't want to spend your winter freezing your butt off, visit our website, icshvac.com. Chairman's Elite Club Loan Officer Mitch Vandalinda of Loan Depot is your go-to person for home loans, whether it's a new home mortgage or a refinance of your current home, and she specializes in renovations for those who want to add on and fix up. Because of her extensive knowledge of loan programs, problem-solving skills, and steadfast commitment to customer service, Midge ensures that each borrower receives superior guidance as they pursue one of the most personal investments of their lifetime. Reach out to her today at 973-202-0992 or mvandalinda at loandepot.com. Your future, it's on. Goals are on. Learning is on. With CCM, the County College of Morris. Online. On point. On your terms. Over 80 majors. Major help. My career guidance. Number one in alumni salaries in New Jersey. Success, it's on. With CCM, the County College of Morris. Sign up now for summer and fall semesters. At CCM County College of Morris, athletics are on. CCM baseball. CCM volleyball. CCM basketball. Oh yeah, it's on. CCM's women's soccer. It's on. Nine athletics programs. CCM softball. It's on. CCM golf. It's on. Esports. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's on. CCM County College of Morris. Go Titans.
back here at Landing Park in Roxbury with the MVP of the 2022 softball, Morris County Softball Championship, Montville pitcher junior, just a junior. Bad news, Morris County. <laughs> Kaylin Oleski, the big the lefty, did a great job tonight. First, let's talk about this game. You lost to them the last time. Haley is a tremendous pitcher. Talk about getting this championship. Yeah. Um, yeah, we knew that she was a really good pitcher, and we were just trying to see a lot of her pitches and kind of work the count and get her, you know, deep in the counts. Um, and we were able to do that. And, you know, as for their lineup, they're a very good hitting lineup, so just kind of making my pitches when I needed to. Um, and, yeah. What did you do differently or, if anything, differently than the first time you met? Because you pitched great in that game. They were just able to scratch across some runs. Right. They were able to scratch a couple. Um, a couple of my pitches I left a little bit flat. So I really worked hard on my spin, you know, and the next I knew that we were going to face them. So I've just been working really hard on that. What was working for you tonight? Besides the little blue double, you should retire 20 after that. You had 18 strikeouts. You were in a groove. Just talk about it. Um, yeah, my, my curveball was really working for me well. Um, my rise ball as well. Um, those two pitches, you know, have been just killer right now. Just talk about this run you guys have been on. Uh, you, this whole year, the one setback was to these guys. Yeah. You guys are still alive in the state tournament. Got the big win the, the other day. Yeah. Uh, big hit with you and Biggio coming through. Still had that going. Just talk about how you guys are putting this together with no starting seniors. Right. Um, you know, we, we've kind of really worked hard to get where we are. I guess we have a lot of, you know, freshmen in our infield, and Coach I has just been working us extremely hard, and we've just kind of told us, told ourselves that, you know, this is our year, and, like, we can do a lot of damage, and that's just kind of what we've done one game at a time. Let's talk about the bottom of the six. No score, and you have a, a big RBI, but uh, Monty gets it going by getting the hit. Kowalski gets a hit. Coach was smart by holding the runner. They load the bases. You get that first run in. Take us through that at bat. Yeah. Um, my kind of my at bat was just really fouling off pitches and you know not letting her throw me kind of a rise ball or not letting her um, not chasing perhaps and my thing was just kind of you know putting the ball in play and even if like just kind of getting a ground ball that was a little bit like deep in the infield so Monty could score. I just talk about this championship for the school. Coach I has been here for a long time. He's got over 300 wins. He's been to this final. He's had some great teams. But you guys were able to do it tonight. What's this mean to you guys and for him? Yeah, it means a lot to us. We're just really, really excited, and um, it means a lot to him. And we've worked hard for him, and we've worked hard for ourselves. So, yeah. You guys still alive in state? You got Old Japan on Tuesday. Uh, you guys could see them again if they were able to get past uh, either Knowles or Ramapo. So that would be a great a third meeting. Yeah, it would be it would be a great game, and uh, you know, kind of the same mindset that we took today. So. And just real quick, your thoughts on why you committed to Nebraska? That's a great program. You committed as a junior. Tell everyone the reasons. Um, yeah, I, I love them. Um, we started talking, you know, of course, when September 1, we were able to. I had a bunch of Zoom calls, and they came out and saw me play, and then I went on my official visit, and I just I love everything the university and the softball program stands for, so I'm really excited for it. Well, Caitlin, congratulations on the championship, the MVP, and you still have a lot of softball ahead this year, so we wish you the best of luck. And when you run back, if you can get Coach I to come run up here and talk to us, that'd be great. Yeah. All right, Kaylin, I'll ask you a great job. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll hopefully we'll have Coach John Imediato. Hi, I'm Rob Guswell. As the branch manager of our Persephone location for North Point Bank, I can tell you emphatically that our customers continue to sing our praises. Our community values us as much as we at North Point value our team. Our goal is to always exceed our clients' expectations. If you're just zipping through life and need a helping hand with any of your home buying decisions, please give us a call today. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable, and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast it's worth the wait. Park with uh, Coach I. Coach, 
championship, first one for the school, first one for you. You had some great teams over the years, but you knocked through the door this year. Your thoughts on this title? I knew we had a special team in March when I, we started working all together. I knew we had the ability to make a good run this year in the county, states, and our conference. I can't be more proud of these girls. They come to work every single day, work to get a little bit better. And you know what? They've been doing that all year, and I'm just so proud of them for getting this first county championship in school history. Just talk about, you played them earlier in the year, and they, you were, they were able to scratch out a couple of runs. Yes. What was the difference tonight? The difference tonight was, I think, that we were um, played our A softball for seven innings. We didn't make any mistakes. We did a good job in the field. Caitlin was on fire, and our approach at the plate was a lot better than the first time. We learned from the first time, and then we did a really good job, um, you know, this time, and it just, we worked out in practice. We got them going in the in the cages the last couple days with our approach, how we were going to attack Haley because she's an unbelievable pitcher, and, uh, and it worked today. You could see we made really good contact and did well. Now, let's talk about that bottom of the sixth month to get you going. Then a great bunt by your number nine hitter, Kowalski. Great call getting her back to third. Then they get the intentional walk, and Caitlin gets to run it. Just take you through what was your mindset there. Lila's been battling all year. She seems to have a knack for coming up with big hits at the right time. And, and she did a nice job starting off, and then it was Koba Larsik who got the bunt down. She's an excellent nine-hitter, freshman, and she got it down, got her there, and then uh, Grace got up and lined it. And you know what? I really didn't, like, think that um, – you know, they have a good outfield. So I knew with the top of the order and Gabby and Caitlin, I knew like, hey, let's not take a chance here. We got some good hitters up, you know, why make it two out? So, and sure enough, Grace, who I feel is one of the best hitters in the county, took her approach to right field, lined a single, and then Gabby, they walked, and then Caitlin, you know, who doesn't want Caitlin Olinsky up in that situation? Let's talk about what you've done with all underclassmen. Yeah, I mean, I knew with the addition of Caitlin and Gabby, plus the returners that we had coming back, who had, you know, a pretty decent year last year, and then the start three freshmen in the infield, um, I knew they were all good players. They performed really well in March, and we just been riding them all the way through, and they're doing a tremendous job and got a bright future. And the crazy thing is you could see them again in the state tournament. If you guys get past Old Japan, they get past uh, Knowles or Ramapo, there could be a third meeting. Yep, absolutely. We, we, we worry about who we get on Tuesday. We take care of them. And if it happens to be us in Roxbury again, I'm excited for the challenge. Coach, you've had a great career at Montville, over 300 wins. I was sitting on the air. I remember the teams when you had Sammy Booth who went to, to, to Drew and uh, Jess Salongo. You had some great teams that could hit. But this team got it over the hump. That's just going to be a special feeling for you. Yeah, I mean, I've been very blessed and fortunate over my career here to coach some amazing players and teams, and I'm very happy and proud of all of them. This team fits right in with all of them. There's amazing players. They work together. They get along on and off the field, which I believe is very important. And, um, you know, they're just a special group that we're not done yet. And you're not. You still have league out there, still got states. A lot of softball to be played. Coach, great job tonight. Thanks. Congratulations. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, folks, that's going to wrap up our coverage here at Landing Park, the Morris County Championship softball. Great game. A win for the Montville Mustang, Mustangs, 5 nothing to get their first ever championship as they'll continue to play in the state tournament. Hey, we want to thank our cameraman, Grace, uh, camera person, Grace Scanlon. Also want to thank our camera, uh, great producer, Sean Bredwith, my partner, Ian Schwindel, a great job. want to thank Prospect Baseball and Softball Academy, Mercedes of Paramus, and George J. Keller and Son for being their producer, uh, being a sponsor tonight, excuse me. Our executive producer, George Muhab, we want to thank him. And uh, we still have a lot more sports to come your way here on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. So stay tuned, subscribe to that Morris County, uh, Morris Sussex Sports YouTube page, and you'll get all the notifications. So enjoy the rest of your night. I hope you enjoyed the game. I'm Dan Cleary. We'll see you again soon live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network.